hope you're having a good week. Um, today we are just trucking along here in our devotional book. We're on page 36 and it says, life is not fair. Jamie, get in here! Her mother called from the playroom. What's wrong? Jamie wondered, running down the hall. The moment she entered, she knew. Her art supplies were all over the floor and Jamie's little sister Marcy sat in the corner looking innocent. Why are your art supplies still out? Her mother demanded. I put them away earlier, Jamie promised. It must have been Marcy. Wasn't me, Marcy shouted. I can't reach the shelf. I don't know how she did it, Jamie said, but I know I put them away. Well, put them away again, her mother said before walking out the door. Jamie cried, Mom, that's not fair. It was Marcy. But her mother was already gone, and Jamie was left to clean up a mess that her little sister had made. Has something like this ever happened to you? Maybe you were blamed for something you didn't do. Or someone else never got caught for something they did do. Times like this make us want to pull our hair out. This is how Esau felt when Jacob stole his birthright. Jacob deceived his father and lied about it so he could receive Esau's blessing. Esau was so angry about this that he planned to kill Jacob. Although you might not want to kill people who treat you unfairly, you probably get really upset about it like Jamie in our story. But imagine if Jamie had walked into the playroom, seen what Marcy had done, and immediately started cleaning up the mess without complaining. Jesus did something far greater than that. He saw the sins we had committed, entered into our world, and chose to die for us. Was this fair? Not at all. It was far more unfair than anything we will ever face. But Jesus loved us so much, he did it. That means now, instead of focusing on everything that's unfair around us, we can focus on the gifts Jesus gives, gives us. Salvation from sins, an opportunity to know God, and peace, joy, and love that will never end. Hear it. God had a plan to bless Jacob's life, but Jacob tried to get that blessing by lying, stealing, and tricking. Because of this, Jacob had to leave his home and family and travel to a faraway land. Nothing good comes from lying, stealing, or tricking. All right, here's a couple Bible verses, okay? Read it. Psalm chapter 73, verses 2 through 5, and chapter 73, verses 26 through 28, and 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Here's our Christ connection. Jacob is a perfect example of why a Savior was needed. Like Jacob, we seek a birthright and blessing that is not ours, but we cannot lie, deceive, or trick to receive it. Instead, Jesus shared his birthright and blessing with us when he paid for our sins on the cross and gave us his righteousness. All right, here's our live big, guys. Pretend you're a reporter and interview your parents. Ask them about a time when they were treated unfairly, but things turned out okay in the end. Remember to ask for the details, age, time, Place, events. Were they okay with the outcome? Why were they okay with the outcome? Did their faith in God grow because of the situation? Here's a few questions, okay guys? Describe a recent time something unfair happened to you. Has something unfair ever turned out to be good for you? What do you usually do when life is unfair and no one seems to be listening to you? Who is always listening to us? All right, here's our prayer for today, okay, guys? Dear God, thank you for telling us about Jacob and Esau and the way their story shows us our need for you through Jacob's actions and Esau's reaction. Jacob had to lie and cheat to earn his blessing, but we can receive so many blessings freely in Jesus simply through faith in him. Thank you for sending Jesus to be treated unfairly for us. Amen. All right, guys, well, I hope you're having a great week. I love you and I miss you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.